My wife might have cheated with her friend's ex-boyfriend. Last update this is a second update. Find the link for the original story and first update in the link in the description. Hello everybody. I really want to thank everybody for their support these past couple of week s. Everybody seemed to really be concerned about me talking to my wife after I caught her cheating and assumed I was going to immediately reconcile with her after what she put me through. I can't lie I did want to know what my wife could possibly say to justify her actions. I was in a bad state of mind and kinda still am. Ever since me and my wife ran into, Trey, who I can now call her AP at the grocery store, things went south ever since. It's hard to forgive that, especially since I had to practically chase this woman across the city. Now that I have multiple confessions on my VAR, there's nothing anybody can tell me about what's been happening since the beginning of this year. Thanks to this community, I was able to kinda confront this, even though I may have stumbled a little a first. But I'm super embarrassed at how this ended. After I tray and her kissing after hours in her nail salon, I got a call from her best friend Mandy. She said that my wife wanted to explain the next day and I agreed to it. The next day came and my wife never called me. That was fine with me because I was in the middle of calling everybody to let them know about her cheating, and I called a lawyer. After talking to a recommended lawyer online I was supposed to call him back because he was leaving the office at the time, and he had questions for me later. After that, I took my kids over my mom's house because she demanded they stay with her for the weekend. My mom blamed this on me because I married her and she said she didn't trust me with the kids right now. My aunt came in from the kitchen and asked why my mom was raising her voice. My mom explained it to my aunt and she looked super shocked. Throwing her hands up, she sat on my mom's couch to unmuted the TV after my mom muted it to start blowing down on me. Even though my mom came down on me hard, I was happy she was taking the kids. I had a lot going on in my head and being by myself helped me get it out since I was still angry when we arrived. My friend Marcus called me too and asked if I had spoke to my wife. I told him no and that she was probably sucking some DIK somewhere and he said she may not even call which was fine with me. I was just preparing to move on. On Saturday, I was trying to clean my house and I heard my wife's keys in the door. I really must have been not paying attention to anything because I should have heard her car pull up. My wife her friend Mandy walked in and it caught me by surprise. She definitely didn't look like her normal self because she was wearing a grey Nike sweatsuit. No makeup and her hair wasn't combed and held together by a rubber band. The shame on her face showed remorse, probably for the fact that she had got caught. I wasn't used to seeing her like this because she was usually a breathtaking woman. Maybe this was only a privilege for Trey now. She clearly liked the way he was checking her out at his Super Bowl party, especially when he was looking at her ass. My wife had what you would call a booty, and just like other girls, wore yoga pants and I caught Trey trying to sneak looks at it. I think you can say that's what started all of this and it got them caught after me being suspicious. After walking into our house Mandy asked me to just let my wife speak, and I said fine. After that Mandy said something to my wife and went out on the porch. I told my wife I was surprised she came and even bothered to talk to me. She said she felt like she needed to after I saw her and Trey at her salon. She said after that she was scared to come back home. She asked where the kids were. And I told her they were with my mom. She looked down as if that wasn't what she wanted to hear and told me she was mad about me telling her co-owner of her nail salon, Sherry, to tell me everything about Trey. I told her that I didn't have to. I told her after Sherry got caught. She immediately ratted her out to save her own skin. My wife said they got into an argument and Sherry haven't come back to work. And I told her that she got caught cheating. And I don't care about Sherry having a big mouth. My wife threw up her hands and said I was right and said she didn't want to fight. She said she was sorry, and she didn't want me to find out about her cheating with Trey. I her saying sorry wasn't going to make it okay, and that she betrayed me. I asked her how could she just parade this guy around me, acting like he's just a friend and then throw our relationship in the garbage. She said she was sorry. And she let her fantasies with Trey get out of hand. She said when her friend, Tasha, from her old job was dating him she always told my wife how great he was. She would always say how handsome he was, and she would show my wife all the sexting Tasha and Trey did while they were at work. The next day Tasha and my wife would talk about it and my wife liked it. 
She said when Trey came to their job to pick her up. She saw Trey and thought he was handsome. After talking about Trey with Tasha, she knew she liked him. I asked her did he say something to her at the time, and she said he complimented her a few times. And that was it. I told her I knew something was off because when we ran into Trey at the supermarket, I don't remember her giving him her phone number. She said he asked for it. And he began texting her, and started flirting with her again. Then it turned to sexting. She said after that she started hanging out with him and some of his friends. I asked her was that the day when she was supposed to be doing Mandy's mom's nails down Trey's house. And I named off his street to let her know. I knew where he lived exactly. She asked how I knew this. And I told her I went looking for her and saw her with him outside that night. Asked her again and she said. Yes. And I asked did she fuck him and. All she could say was that she was sorry. She said when he called her he said everybody was there hanging out. And he convinced my wife to ghost Mandy to hang with them. She said when she got there she waited for more people to show up and. Trey had admitted he just wanted her to be alone with him. I had asked her why she didn't leave. And she said she knew what he wanted. She said he got all touchy with her and started kissing her. She said things got out of hand with them and she didn't stop it. After that I called her a stupid bitch and she fucked up our marriage. And she said she was sorry. I told I can never trust her again. And she said she wasn't asking me to. I asked what she meant by. That she said she wanted to pursue a relationship with Trey. I told her she was fucking crazy. And she said she really wanted to. She said always fantasized about Trey. And she didn't think it mattered until we ran into him that day. She said when he told her that him and Tasha wasn't serious. It actually made her happy, especially after he started flirting with her again. She said she secretly hoped something would happen, and it did when she went to his house that night. She said when he was fucking her she wanted to feel bad, but she didn't. After he would call her to hang out. She said it would happen spontaneously, then it was planned. She said she should have talked to me about it instead of going behind my back with Trey. She said that I didn't deserve it. And this was the better way to go about it. I told her she was crazy and asked if she really wanted to leave her family for this guy. She said it was a feeling she always had about him. And she wished she pursued it before being married to me. She told me Trey wanted a relationship with her especially since she liked Trey more than she liked me. I asked her was she fucking his friends too and she called me crazy. I told her I had to ask because I know she's been riding around with them. She said that Trey would sometimes call her and tell her to pick his friends up and give them a ride somewhere. I asked was now some kind of free Uber. And she just rolled her eyes. She said it just happened. Then I just said, whatever. My wife said she wanted out of our marriage because she didn't want to be married to me while thinking about somebody else. I reminded her she couldn't date Trey at the time because he was already dating Tasha, and we were still together at the time. And I asked her what Tasha would think about her wanting to be with Trey. She said they were just casually dating at the time, and she wouldn't care now. I told her that's true, but Tasha would think less of her as a friend and she would be right. My said she didn't want to argue, she wanted to end this on good terms. After that she left with Mandy who kept peeking her head in and they drove back to God knows where. As much as I didn't want to agree with my wife. She was right. I would hate being married to her and knowing she'd rather be with another guy. She was very delusional, but I'd rather let her find out for herself. After that living in the house by myself was even harder. I was definitely pissed off at this embarrassment. Is this what relationships are like now? Is it that easy to throw your marriage away like this? I honestly thought being married for 9 9 years. Would mean we didn't have to worry about these things. When Monday came, I called off work to meet with a lawyer and filed for divorce. Somebody said I could get alimony from my wife's nail salon, and he said if the kids want to live with me that's doable. My mom has been a big help with the kids. But I found out my mom spoiled my kids while they were with her and also told them that my wife was leaving the family to go live somewhere else. When my oldest asked me, all I could do was shake my head thanks to my mom. I have had to tell them. And they didn't take it well. Even though my mom did that it fell in my favor. After picking up my kids, we rolled past Trey's house and I showed my kids that's where their mom wants to live. I asked my kids did they want to live there with her. 
They both looked at the rickety house with a bunch of guys standing on the porch and said no. I asked were they sure, and my oldest said, not for a million dollars. I called my wife on my lunch break today and told her that I already filed for the divorce. And she said okay. She said she wanted to come over and talk to the kids. And I told her my mom was picking them up from school today because I had things to do. My wife said she really wanted to talk to them. And I said when I get home she can come over. And I'll ask my mom to bring them back after hanging out with her. She asked to just pick up the kids. And I told her if she wants to see the kids so bad, go over to my mom's house and pick them up. But it won't be the smartest thing she did. My got upset and said I always hide behind my mom, and I told her if she wants to see the kids go over to my mom's house, that is if she's bold. Giving a frustrated sigh, she hung up clearly knowing how petty my mom can be. Since then I haven't heard from my wife. I sent her one last text saying all we need to talk about from here is about the divorce and sometimes our kids. Right now I'm only thinking about my daughter's lives. Just because my wife gave up on them. That don't mean they're alone. I know for a fact. Trey wouldn't plan on giving up his player life. I hope while she's busy taking a facial from him that she would think about that. It's not my problem anymore. And like I said I'll let her worry about what might happen. I really want to thank everybody here for the amazing support. I was definitely scared to go down this road and it made me braver. I've stories about them catching their so in lies. Like I did. Even worse, some catching them in the act which would have killed me. I'm definitely coming back from this bullshit one day. My wife was very flawed and it showed through her being extremely selfish. How could she break all her standards for him and force me to abide by them? It's a question I've been hearing from good men lately. And it seems unfair. This is my last update and I want to thank you guys one more time. Some hoes are just for the